Well, the exciting new partnership between Nutrien Equine and Harness Racing got off to a flying start. In fact, a record-breaking start at Clubman Angle tonight. I caught up with Mark Barton, a representative from Nutrien Equine, to discuss tonight's proceedings and also moving forward. Well, Mark, first of all, welcome to Clubman Angle. Excited to be here. Yeah, absolutely, mate. It's a wonderful night. We've seen the fog clear, but it's um, yeah, great to see our first group of uh, yearlings actually compete here for their first uh, first series win. I was starting to look a bit dicey there for a while, whether we're going to see much of the action. Well, I don't know what you normally get after what race two. I think it started to roll in, but it was um, great calling to see someone that could actually pick what was coming up around that bend. But no, it's um, cleared into a nice evening. It's actually yeah, been a really lot of fun for us for our first time. And Mark, what a way to uh, celebrate this new partnership between Neutron Equine and also Harness Racing here at Clarman Angle. A record-breaking win by Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkin, their 100th Group 1 win. Yeah, look, and credit to that stable. They, yeah, they, they're, they're ultimate professionals. I know they've been here for a couple of days. They brought three down. They got three qualified. And, you know, they're, um, they're a class act. We see what they do with two-year-olds, and they've been great supporters of our first two sales, and we look forward to that relationship continuing too. But congratulations to Emma. And this is your first venture into sponsorship of Harness Racing. Yeah, it is. Look, as a business, we'll sell around $40 million with the horses this year, but our background comes out of the performance horse industry, uh, camp drafting, cutting, and um, yeah, ridden horses, station horses. So it's uh, it's exciting. We've got a group of the team that are yeah have got some touch points in harness racing, and we've really enjoyed getting to know the breeders and now the owners and the and the, uh, the, the you know, stables that are racing these horses. And Mark, you must be delighted with the response. Yeah, absolutely. Look, our catalogues for this year, we're... Um, going to uh, Bathurst, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. So we've gone from one sale our first year, two sales last year, and we'll go to four this year. So really looking forward to um, 2023. will be a great uh, line-up of horses. And Mark, a unique sale coming up, rehoming standard breeds. Yeah, look, we have um, we did a little um, uh, piece with one of my colleagues, Mike Rowland, at, uh, at Tamworth. We showcased about half a dozen off-the-track horses and a great Group 1 winning horse in Monofeet to just show the versatility of these horses off the track and probably just to um, let people know that these horses do have a life after racing and it's something that we're keen to help uh, the industry rehome these horses. We've got two horses in um, uh, the Northern Territory from that sale last year that are actually out there and done a full season of station mustering and, yeah, two really consistent horses that that station uh, are looking to buy more next year. Mark, it's become very important in both harness racing and the galloping industry. We've seen it so successful with the greyhounds, giving these horses who still have a lot to offer a new home. Look, and we're lucky with our first touch point into it. In that genuine volume market, um, yeah, pastoral North Queensland, that got floods, what, now four years ago? Um, a lot of those foals got drowned in those floods, unfortunately, and there's a real gap in their program for three-year-olds, four-year-old station horses to come through. So that gave us the opportunity to see a couple of these horses trialled in that market, um, and they're doing their job and they're cost-effective, but most importantly, they've had so much done. These trainers expose them to so much, and they're really safe, and they're a real, they're a genuine option. It's not just a, um, a showcase. It's actually a genuine home after racing. And Mark, exciting times moving forward for Neutron Equine. Yeah, look, we are excited. It's um, It's been a big learning curve. Um, we come from an industry that's not regulated, so we've had to learn a lot about the regulations and racing industry generally. But, yeah, the team, we've got a terrific team behind the scenes. Um, the girls and Mike that, that heads up that um, the, the, the detail, the attention to detail part, we've learned a lot in the first two years, and we're looking to deliver a, um, a really professional sales series for the industry next season. Well, Mark, it's the first night of what is going to be a wonderful association between Harness Racing, Nutri and Equine. Hopefully there's many more years to come and uh, congratulations on tonight's performances as far as your team is concerned and what we're seeing on the track. No, thank you very much. And look, like I say, to our sponsors, that uh, our industry sponsors, thank them and Club and Angle, the, um, the support, and also um, John Dumasney, his um, guidance in some of the areas that we don't understand in the sport, um, particularly the racing part of it. We um, really like to say thank you for the help that we've had in this uh, journey so far. It's going to be a wonderful partnership. No, looking forward to it, all of us are. Thank you.